actually think that like women like to be cheated on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I ask the girls on the show, it'll be like, they will talk about cheating, right? They'll bring up their ex that cheated. But my next question is always like, did you stay? And the qu- they always say yes. And when I first heard this, I thought it was crazy. I was like, there's no way girls it's like this stuff. It's more similar to an addiction. It's the roller coaster, and then they go back because they miss. Yeah. Did any of them tell you they liked being cheated on? I mean, they didn't say that, but their actions, it's like... A lot of women like to stay in a relationships. So do they like it because they stay there? <sighs> um... So I feel like this is like a trap question. It's like a trap. It's like this do is what they do. They think try to trap addicts you. Like to be addicts. Honestly, I think some addicts do. <laughs> I do. No, this is. I, 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 have, I have relatives that are addicts. They All just right. keep doing the same thing over and over again. Based. Okay. Women love selfish men, though. That's oh my problem. god! You it's just like not, say the uh, randomest, most like what is like the dumbest, so wrongest it's opinion? Just, yeah. Would you be with a selfish guy? Do you? Like I've been. Them? Yeah. I don't. Why do you keep saying I've been with you? Not anymore. <laughs> okay, right? When I say selfish, I mean like guys that are following their purpose and put themselves first. Let's say you start dating a guy and he's like, listen, I love you and I, it's great what you're doing out here, Pearly. I need you to move to Germany because that's where I live and I'm not moving anywhere for your career. Would that be like attractive to you? Like, God, he's so driven Honestly, to just not care at all I about was, my life. I was going to move to Germany next year anyways I for volleyball. Know. But you totally avoiding that question. I what? think we know the answer. Okay. What? How about Zimbabwe? <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> Zimbabwe. Your husband is from Zimbabwe. Uh-huh. Answer carefully. I mean, I just think long term that probably wouldn't work. I don't want to live in Zimbabwe. <laughs> but long you've term. never heard like women go for bad boys when they're younger. Like even my grandma would t- would tell you that. Like, well, oh women, well, Jesus. So, um, okay, yeah, even, never mind. If, if Pearl's grandma to, said it, then I mean, what am I to <laughs> no, say to that? Just, women so are attracted like, to confidence, have... but confidence and and the problem is a lot of girls are confident, and it, it requires learning this process to be like, I like confidence, but I don't like. Yeah, I agree, but it's not just women that do that. It's men that do that, too. But it's like every time we have a conversation about women, you always have to put but men. Because on your show, you blame like 95% of the world's problems on women. I'm saying, yeah, (laughs) women do do this, but men do it, too. It's not exceptional. Men and women, I think, are way more in common. We have way more commonalities than we do differences. So like, yeah. But wouldn't you agree there's some (laughs) biological differences? No, I think we're exactly the same. Yeah, obviously no, there's the differences. Way, the, the way you talk, it's like... The- I think the hyper-liberal <laughs> attitude of the West has driven people into a sort of like spiritual kind of like destitution. Part of that, and it can be laid on the doorstep of capitalism or more specifically hyper-consumerism. And red pillars have correctly identified that there's a lot of like purposeless like men that don't feel like they have much going on in life, but then they take them and they do some weird calculus to throw them right back into that rat race. Forget these liberal loser world order guys or whatever. We're going to have you guys going to the gym and getting ripped and getting so that you can get and get money so you can get a lot of cars. It's like, that's like the same capitalist you just left behind. Well, I don't understand why that's a bad thing to want to get a Bugatti. Because things don't make you happy in a fulfilling sense. Nobody's bought a thing that's made them happy for a long time. I'm pretty sure social media is like some of the most damaging stuff for young girls in middle school and high school because of how much like information they're bombarded with in terms of beauty standards and how they look. But you guys are like, well, but Instagram helps them get flown out to Dubai. So I think like... <laughs> it does. You know, it's like totally, you're totally disconnected from like the real world. I mean, it also lets you catfish the hell out of men. <laughs> like with these freaking Instagram films. Filters. Oh my god, you know how many girls come on the show where it's like, I'll look at their Instagram, they look completely different. Like, how are you going to complain about beauty standards if, like, you're changing your face online? Because they all do it, so they all know. Yeah, but they're all trying to fit that beauty standard. I People think, evaluate I their beauty think, standards based on the media that they consume and the thing images around them. Like, that's just it's like, absolutely boo true. Freaking who? Then why don't you say boo hoo to guys getting catfished? Boo hoo. I mean, they, they probably should. I wow. mean, I think men do know. That's the crazy thing. They do know. The way that all of these people talk about relationships is so sad. It's like, oh yeah, like women are out here dating for resources and men are looking for the youngest, freshest, lowest body count woman. And that's like all they have to say about relationships. They're not saying what's healthy and what's not healthy. They're just describing what it is. Women have gone for men with more resources and men have gone for women that are younger and more pure. It would have been dead. Yeah, but because women couldn't work. (laughs) So of course they went after resources because they can work. If you think of like people that are in happy, healthy relationships, Mm -hmm. are you thinking of like, God, like she found a guy and it's just so cool because he gives her so many resources and it's so cool that he's like 48 Again, and she's 22. You, you, might like, not, you might not like think of it like that, but it's true. It's a description. I disagree. I think the most successful relationships require like a higher level engagement. It requires more work. There are more things that go into building a healthy relationship between two people than just resources on one side and youth on the other. Like that relationship isn't going to last for more than like six months. Well, I didn't say it was just resources, but yeah, I mean, like, I think there's things like culture, values, like that sort of thing too. But I just think, again, it's a description. It might not be as detailed of a description as you'd like, but it's just, it's just a description. 
I don't know why you're saying it's just a description. Like that's a counter to my point. I said I disagreed with the description. Can you not disagree with the description? <laughs> yeah, but how do you? What do you disagree with? You don't think women go after men with resources? I don't think that it's that simplistic, though. No, I mean, it, it just goes down to like the bare bones. But then you can add in other, like clearly. But those oh, bare bones, like this is more like marketing. Like those things draw you in. Being well, yeah, like, but like not necessarily fall in love with them. those bare bones aren't going to sustain a relationship. You're going to need more than just resources. Because what's going to happen when women get older? But but it starts with you you still need resources to start. Because women in general don't date date bums. Well, well, bum women do. I wish that they didn't. I know so many women in my life that could do so much better than they do. Yeah, and like... Why are you with these... They could, if they could do better, then they would. Exactly. Poor women no, can't. Poor really women could. date poor men. <laughs> middle class women date middle class men. It's rich a women take, date thing. Which rich men? It's a, you think it's a self esteem yeah, thing? Women that date down, yeah, that I, poor self esteem. I think if they could do better, they probably would. A man's place is to um, look after me, make sure he's got my best interests at heart, and he has to make the final decision. You guys frame these things like, my husband is the ultimate authority and blah, blah, blah. But that's not true. For all of you guys, it's a back and forth. Yeah. Like, you're going to be okay what he does. He's going to be okay what you do. That has nothing to do with masculinity or femininity or anything like that. That's just like two adults having a relationship, figuring out what the boundaries are. But I just that. think at the it. end of the day, someone wears the pants. Sometimes it's reversed, but at some, at some point, like, you have to trust someone's leadership. It's going to depend on the domain that yeah. you guys are experts in, right? So you said you were a mechanic. Mechanic. Traditionally, yeah. men are going to have the say over the car because men tend to know. But I'm guessing you probably know more than your husband does, right? LA, if he comes back with a 50 pound mm-hmm. bill for blinker fluid, you're probably going <laughs> to. But you know something, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm a mechanic, but he's more stable minded than me. It mm-hmm. feels like you guys are saying that women need to look for fathers. That's yeah. what I'm I, I, I ain't looking for no daddy. Can I say something? Can, can women respect a man that they make more money than? Do you guys think? <laughs> I think it actually depends on how the man carries himself, mm. right? I think there's a similar question in terms of like, can a woman be with like a below average height male? There's a guy who might be 5'9", who carries himself normally. And there might be a I guy who's you. like 5'9", who acts like he's very short mm. all the time. People won't like that guy, but not because he's short, because he thinks he's w- short. W- Same thing with like in, in a household, if the man is making less money, as long as the guy is contributing well mm-hmm. to the household and he's not like being weird about it exactly. or being like moody about it, I think it could probably would be you, Would you agree that it's more of the exception rather than the rule? Like, are you asking me if I believe if numbers are real and they exist? Or <laughs> of course, it's the exception. Yeah, generally, right, men are right. more than women right yeah. now. So generally, yeah. No, I, no, because I agree with you. Because I, I have a lot of tall friends. When we talk about legislation, for instance, that like favors men over women, the easiest thing I can think of in the United States is abortion. If men got pregnant, you could get an abortion on every gas station corner block in the United States with no questions asked, guaranteed. Because it's a woman's issue, we talk about it in a way different light. It's free up to six months here. Oh my God! Wait, is my mic on? Mm-hmm. Okay, because I thought I said in America, and you just totally ignored that. And we're both Americans, so I don't know why you said that. Okay, Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm just. I don't know why you brought up London. I'm like, I'm being polite. Because you did that. No, no, you weren't being polite. You totally just pivoted. You accused her of being bad faith. 